I had always been drawn to places that others avoided. There was something about the mystery of abandoned spaces that intrigued me. So when I heard about the old junkyard on the outskirts of town, I couldn't resist the temptation to explore it. It was a chilly autumn evening when I decided to make my way there. The sun was setting, casting long shadows over the piles of twisted metal and discarded items. The smell of rust and old oil filled the air, mingling with the earthy scent of fallen leaves. The junkyard had a reputation for being haunted, but I brushed off the rumors as mere superstition. As I climbed over the chain link fence, the metal rattled ominously, sending a shiver down my spine. I landed on the other side with a crunch of gravel beneath my feet. The place was eerily silent, save for the occasional creak of metal and the distant hoot of an owl. I took a deep breath, the cold air burning my lungs, and ventured deeper into the maze of junk. Everywhere I looked, there were remnants of lives long forgotten. Old car parts, broken appliances, and stacks of moldy newspapers. The smell of decay was overwhelming, and I wrinkled my nose in disgust. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, but I chalked it up to my overactive imagination. I had been wandering for about an hour when I stumbled upon an old, rusted-out van. Its windows were shattered, and the doors hung ajar. Curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to take a closer look. As I approached, the smell of mildew and something more pungent like rotting meat assaulted my senses. I gagged, covering my nose with my sleeve. Peering inside, I saw nothing but darkness. I pulled out my phone and turned on the flashlight, the beam cutting through the gloom. My heart skipped a beat when I saw what was inside. Old, faded photographs scattered across the floor, along with broken toys and a child's shoe. A chill ran down my spine, and I quickly backed away. Suddenly, I heard a noise behind me, a soft rustling like footsteps on gravel. I spun around, my flashlight darting through the darkness, but saw nothing. My pulse quickened, and I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up. Hello? I called out, my voice trembling. There was no response, only the deafening silence of the junkyard. I tried to calm myself, taking deep breaths but the air seemed to grow colder and heavier with each passing moment. The smell of decay was getting stronger, and I felt a sense of dread settling in the pit of my stomach. I decided it was time to leave. As I turned to make my way back, I heard it again, the unmistakable sound of footsteps, this time closer. Panic set in, and I started to run, weaving through the piles of junk, my heart pounding in my chest. The footsteps followed, growing louder and more frantic. I reached the fence, scrambling up and over it in a desperate bid to escape. As I landed on the other side, I looked back one last time. In the dim light of my flashlight, I saw a figure standing among the junk, tall, thin, and shrouded in darkness. Its eyes glowed with an eerie light, and I could feel its gaze piercing through me. I turned and ran as fast as I could the smell of rust and decay fading with each step. My breath came in ragged gasps, my legs burning with exertion. I didn't stop until I reached the safety of my car, the junkyard now a distant, looming silhouette. Slamming the door shut, I locked it and sat there, trembling. The air inside the car felt stifling, but I was too afraid to open the windows. My mind raced, trying to make sense of what I had seen. The figure in the junkyard haunted my thoughts, its glowing eyes etched into my memory. I drove home in a daze, the events of the night replaying over and over in my head. The smell of decay seemed to linger in my nostrils, and I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. When I finally reached my house, I locked the doors and windows, paranoia gripping me tightly. That night, I couldn't sleep. Every creak of the house Every gust of wind outside set my nerves on edge. The darkness seemed to press in around me, and the memory of the junkyard refused to fade. I knew I had encountered something beyond my understanding, something that defied logic and explanation. 
days turned into weeks, but the fear never left me. I avoided the outskirts of town, the mere thought of the junkyard sending chills down my spine. I tried to convince myself that it had all been a figment of my imagination, a trick of the light and shadows. But deep down, I knew the truth. There was something lurking in that junkyard, something that didn't belong in this world, and I had come too close to it. The smell of rust and decay still haunts me, a constant reminder of the night I ventured into the heart of darkness. I can only hope that whatever I encountered stays there, hidden among the piles of junk, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to wander too close.